Monaco being forced to stay silent immensely frustrating for Duchess. Biographer says, Meghan Markle felt frustrated that she couldn't publicly address the various allegations and false reports about her when she was still a walking royal, a biographer says. Andrew Morton, Prince Diana's biographer, has addressed the revelation made by royal correspondents Amit Gobi and Carolyn Duran in the book Fighting Freedom. On Channel 5's documentary Harry and Meghan, The New Revelation, he shared his expert opinion on the Duke and Duchess of the Sussex exit from the royal family. She's been frustrated by the fact that she's not been able to give her side of the story, more than say in the documentary. All kinds of stories have come out about her, and she's not been able to answer that. It is something she's found immensely frustrating. The Diana author added that he feels for Marco because she married to him to a very difficult family. I feel for this poor girl. I mean, she came into this country, parachuted in, weren't safe about their former actress. She's married into a very difficult family that everybody finds difficult to come into. He continued. And she's someone who didn't know an awful lot about British history, about British culture, and as she said herself, she's gonna hit the ground running. And she hit the ground running, but she found she came up against a brick wall. In October last year, the royal couple got emotional in the ITV documentary, Harry and Meghan, An African Journey as she opened up about the struggles as working royals and first-town parents. Mako was close to tears when spoke about the criticisms she received when she was pregnant with the first child, Archie. However, some royal experts criticized Mako and Prince Harry for going public with the private matters, saying that the royal family has never complained, never explained mantra. You allow the intrusive plans into your life and you're out of control. No matter how much editorial control they had with the mate, Tom Bradley, he's caused chaos, PR expert Mark Bokowski said. Richard K., royal commander and editor at large of the Daily Mail, felt that Prince Harry didn't learn the lesson from his parents, Prince Charles and Prince Diana. The decision will, I believe, proved to be as ill-judged as Diana's panorama interview and Prince Charles' confession about his following marriage to Jonathan Dimbleby, Kate wrote, both were initiatives that start off with the noblest of aims and to create what they felt was misconceptions about their roles and life, but both are remembered chiefly for admissions of adultery. Meanwhile, sources have said that Prince William were convinced that Prince Harry and Marco had not participated in Suze's biography, Fighting Freedom. William thinks the book is their calculated way of controlling the narrative and that they took advantage of their entertainment contracts so they could be painted in a favorable light, an insider told US Weekly. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have already addressed the issue. A rap for the couple confirmed that they did not contribute and were not interviewed for the book. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not interviewed and did not contribute to Fighting Freedom. This book is based on the author's own experiences as members of the Royal Press Corps and their own independent reporting, the spokespersons for the Sussexes say.